Crazy update when it comes to the Tupac murder investigation. The Las Vegas Police Department is closing in on Tupac's actual killer. I say actual because, to me, it was never Orlando Anderson. And now that they searched Keefe D's home, they found some things, and they're going to look into this. So let's go over the article. Tupac's murder investigation has unexpectedly kicked back into life this month, and now bullets found at Keefe D's home are to be tested by forensic experts to determine whether they are linked to the rap icon's death. According to Daily Mirror, Las Vegas police recovered several .40 caliber bullets while executing a search warrant at the Henderson, Nevada residence, belonging to Keefe D's wife, Paula Clemens, last week. A former member of the Southside Compton Crips, Keefe D, is the uncle of Pac's alleged killer, Orlando Anderson, and has admitted on more than one occasion to playing a role in the rapper's 1996 murder. A, a Vegas police source said the bullets will undergo forensic testing to determine if they have any link to the bullets found in Tupac's body or on the scene of the homicide. Homicide detectives have kept forensic evidence from Pac's death scene and body, including bullets and clothing and secure uh, storage for over 25 years. They also have a full scale, full scale laboratory analysis of shells, bullets and powder from the crime scene. So they've held on to everything that happened 25 years ago, which is crazy. Uh, microfibers or residues from the weapon or the bullet could prove to have a link. The source added there is no information yet on the history of the bullets, how old they are, or their significance, and it will take some time to assess how the bullets play a role in this case. The source said that the search warrant was executed because investigators feel they can assemble enough information that could lead to an arrest or an indictment in the long unsolved case. However, they conceded that it is a long shot that the bullets will be the ones from 1996. A 40 point caliber Glock pistol that was believed to have been killed to use Tupac was found in the garden of a Compton home back in 1998. An initial ballistics text test conducted by the ATF uh, in 2006 flagged it as a possible matching to the shooting. However, a second ballistics test done by the Las Vegas police determined it was not a match for Pac's case. So it was sent back to ATF, according to TMZ, after spending years in storage. The weapon was later destroyed by the ATF per standard procedure. Las Vegas police also seized various items at KPD's home during their search, including computers, hard drives, and photos from the 1990s of individuals who might have been connected to people directly or indirectly involved in the shooting. The evidence will be presented to a Las Vegas grand jury to determine whether an indictment will be brought forward. Further search warrants may also be executed in the next weeks. Uh... While no arrests have ever been made over Tupac's murder, Orlando Anderson, a Compton Crip who was killed in an unrelated gang shooting in 1999, was the prime suspect in the case. Anderson got in, into an altercation. Yeah, so it goes all, you know, hours later, they end up with a white Cadillac pulling up. Keefe D has always said he's been in the passenger seat. He said Orlando Anderson was directly behind him. And then two other individuals were in the car, the driver. Um, I just never believed, I, for me personally, based off of, you know, obviously in the, you could say in the 2000s, I, I believe it was Orlando Anderson. Yeah, cool. You know, that's it made sense. But once Keefe D started doing interviews in 2017, the first one he started with was with Vlad TV, and they started doing all these other platforms. That's when I kind of got a suspicion that I think it was Keefe D that actually killed Tupac for various reasons. One, they got a new witness that recently came forward and said the hand that stuck out the window that shot out of the white Cadillac was a lot thicker it was a bigger bigger hand bigger you know uh wrist and Orlando Anderson was a lot skinnier like me and it just didn't seem like it didn't look like the hand of Orlando Anderson the person said it looked like someone that was a lot beefier and fatter and Keefe D is that let's just be honest here and that's the first crazy new evidence that came out second Orlando Anderson had a broken uh shoulder because of Tupac and you know his affiliates jumping him so it's kind of harder, you know, you got a broken shoulder, you're shooting one hand. It's kind of harder to do that. It's possible, don't get me wrong, but it's harder. Third thing is that Orlando Anderson was a lot younger. I believe he was in his early 20s or late teens. And Keefe D always in his interviews uh, says like, oh, they were just kids. They didn't know. They weren't about that street life, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of hard to convince someone who really isn't that street to shoot somebody you know, in a, in a situation like that, like the way he explained it, it seemed like in gang terms was like he was he was just very low on the on the gang totem pole where it was like he wasn't a killer. So the way Keefe D talks about Orlando Anderson, he's like, yo, that's my little youngin. He would never, you know, he's not that type of guy. He was, you know, he was chill. He liked Tupac, blah, blah, blah. 
you can always see in the interviews that Keefe D took what Tupac did to his um, nephew very, very personal. You can see in the interviews that he, he kind of reacts like he's the one that did it. I mean, the best thing to do is to blame it on a dead person so they can't prosecute anything. But based off these interviews, I mean, if you go look at these interviews, I to me, it's clear as day that Keefe D was the one that actually shot Tupac. I think it's clear as day. I think he just he squirms around the question. I don't know. To me, that's what I get just based off those three things. I mean, there's more stuff that I can't, you know, go off the top of my head here. But those three things, you know, the new witness saying the hand was a lot fatter. It wasn't a slim hand like Orlando Anderson has. Um, the way he talks about his nephew and how they're, you know, they're youngins, man. They, they didn't deserve to get jumped or blah, blah, blah. He didn't deserve to get jumped. Uh, having the shoulder being, you know, broken. All that, to me, I don't know, it indicates that I doubt it was Orlando Anderson. And to shoot, because he was in the passenger right, uh, he was right behind uh, Keefe D. So Keefe D was in the passenger seat. To shoot, you know, across like that is a little bit harder too, especially with a broken shoulder. So, um, yeah, and the way Keefe D explains the shooting, man, it looked like he he was literally staring at Tupac the whole time when the shooting was happening because he says, oh, Tupac was getting in his seat. He's trying to go in the back seat and he was trying to move around and Tupac was squirming around. You know, uh, I don't know, man. To me, it just, it, it, something seems weird. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to obviously keep you guys updated, but these bullets, if they come back to him, which is a rare, like a huge shot in the dark here, the police even, the fact that he, if he still has these bullets from that time, like Keefe D is a moron. The fact that he's going around talking and doing these interviews and still having like evidence of shit. Oh man, Keefe D really, really bit himself in the ass with this one. And hey man, if he actually did it and he's the one that's involved and actually he's involved obviously, but if he's the one that actually did it, shot him, this is the justice that Tupac finally gets. It's unfortunate his mother is not alive to witness this, but you know, uh, it's good to have a close. I think they're going to, by the end of this year, I think there's going to be a close to this. Maybe it'll, it'll, you know, these trials take forever and shit. So maybe next year I'll get a closing, but, uh, other than that, it's interesting, man. All these years have gone by, so we'll see what comes of this, and obviously I'll keep you guys updated every single time there's a new update.